guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today would have been my sister's um, I think 47th birthday, Amanda would have been 47. My sister Amanda was 7 years younger than me. My brother didn't live till 2 months old so I love, um, I never met my brother. Dylan Mark. I didn't meet Dylan because my brother Dylan was born in 1967 before I, Genestra Crystal, was even born. So when my brother died in 1967, I wasn't even born, so I never met Dylan, right? So like every July, June, July, you saw, I do remember my brother. My brother Dylan would have been 55, the same age as my ex-husband. My ex-husband is 55 this year. I, I'm 54 this year. So today, July the 5th, my sister Amanda would have been 47 years old. 47. So what do I expect, you know? What do I expect on July the 5th? Well, I expect to have a nice quiet day where I light not only a candle for my sister, but my for my brother Dylan, who I, I don't even know where his grave is. Um, I've not been told, I can't lay flowers, I don't know exactly where it is, where my brother's resting place is, I don't know. I've been told certain things, but I don't actually know. Um, a lot of truth has been withheld from me, and you know, I find it out in drips and drabs and stages. Yes, I would like to lay flowers on my brother's resting place, but I've not even been told exactly where it is. I don't know where my sister's ashes are. I don't know where my sister was uh, cremated. All I was told is that is I can't get there because I haven't got a car and you, you can't get there by train, so you need a car to get there. I can't drive and no one has offered to even take me to where my sister was cremated. Right? So I can't lay roses on my brother's uh, resting place. I don't even think he's got a, a memorial stone or anything to say where he is. My sister has not got a, a stone or a plaque that I can go and lay flowers on and my dad is cr been cremated and his ashes have been scattered across Bluebell Hill Cemetery in Chatham. Right, apparently there is a rose and a plaque which obviously at some stage I'm going to photograph, film and see to show you that my father, Derek Trower, is dead. Right? This world can be a wicked, evil life. It can be terrible, it can be destructive. And I have had misery upon misery upon misery. I lost my brother, I lost my sister, I've lost my dad, right? July the 5th would have been my sister's birthday, right? So what's happened this morning? My mother and Jennifer's just run. Not for me to go up there, because I had a shitty day yesterday, and that I've got no money left. I've got food, because I bought food, I'm not stupid, so I've sat here, with no money, the neighbours upstairs kids have woken me up just gone five this morning and she's rung me up, Jennifer, to say to me, I hope you have a good day. And what is that supposed to mean? When I've been left with no money, no company, and the guy upstairs keeps waking me up early hours of the morning. Have a good day. So you're being coerced, pushed over the edge to go and 
to do something stupid, is that correct? And then I've got, you know, all this, hello beautiful, hello gorgeous again, trying to upset me and act stupid and silly, and, and that can cause you to get into trouble, can't it? So being cruel to me, to try and get a reaction, to make me get into trouble for what they've done to me, not the other way around. When I went to Gravesend yesterday, I picked up a rock. Prosecco flavour rock. Yellow, stripy rock. And now we have warnings on children's sweets. May have an adverse effect on activity in children. So sweets can cause an adverse reaction in children. May have an adverse effect on activity in children. So years on, we are now finding out that basically sweet not to drink fizzy drinks because they can change your behaviour as well, fizzy drinks. The dentist told me not to drink fizzy drinks. It's not very harmful to your teeth or the sugar. Um, so today probably isn't going to be very pleasant at all. Again, my mother said I can't hear what you're saying. So it was a one-way conversation. She just spoke and couldn't hear a word I was saying. Have a good day. I'm not angry. I've got no money to go out. I have not. I have spent every penny yesterday that I had. And yes, it is my own fault. I can, I can stop myself from buying things. But a lot of people, when you go out, you want to have a cup of tea. You want to, to treat the other person that's with you. And if they've got no money, what do you do? You not only buy drinks for yourself, you buy drinks for them as well. So I didn't have a lot of money yesterday. And what money I did have, I shared with someone else. And now I have been left with nothing. But am I complaining? No. But I don't need people winding me up and upsetting me because, you know, they sit on their big fat bottom and fucking expect me to go outside and act like a nutter when it's them that's the nutter sat on their bottom. Getting me to do all the work.